Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you something really useful inside Microsoft Copilot Studio. And that is how we can connect to Copilot agent directly and without using any connector or Power Automate flow. So generally in Copilot Studio, we usually connect with services like DataWars, SharePoint, but sometimes if we want to, we want our data that is not into Microsoft ecosystem. For example, something external APIs which are exposed to some external systems. So we want to use the REST API tool with Copilot agent and that we are going to take a look how we can actually have any REST API calls within Copilot agent and that uses to provide the data related to it. So for our demo, I'm using this marketplace API layer that gives me many of the APIs with a free account. So right now with our demo, I am going to take a look on exchange rates data, data API, which actually gives us a real time the currency conversion or currency rate conversion among two currencies. So this could be one of the tool which my financial users would like to have while doing some any data extraction out of my finance data and do the real time data conversion. So we are going to take a look on this REST API call for this uh, API that is exchange rates data API. So I'll go to my Copilot Studio and over here, as I said, like for any of the agent, if I click on the agent and let's say like we are going to build a new financial agent. So I did uh, multiple uh, other videos on Copilot Studio, Copilot agent earlier. So we already took a look that uh, how we can create an agent and configure the knowledge base for it. So I have this newly built agent. I will configure, I will name that as financial agent. So that will answer all my financial related queries. You can put a description and define the instruction that you are finance agent need to answer queries related to my knowledge source provided in tools and also like uh, as part of tools like we'll add one external API call for the for doing a real-time currency conversion so that also we are going to take a look so in the knowledge you can add your knowledge base so i have my this one of the sharepoint site which contains the data related to finance stuff so i will just directly give that as knowledge source so though like we have already seen this sort of setting up the knowledge source in our previous sessions so i'll just quickly set that up because in conjunction of this knowledge source, our new external API call would again like do wonders for us. So we are going to just do this add to agent. So now we have set up the knowledge source and now the important part comes where we want to make a call to our this third party API. So before that, like I'll just create agent over here now in tools Then we are going to say add a tool, you will get an options to add tool from already featured tools or all the catalog which is already provided as i said like we want to make a call to the external third party so we are going to use this rest call and it's existing this tools would be available under rest category but we are going to just add a new tool so i will just say add new and over here we get options from prompt agent flow computer use custom connector stpi and mcp protocol tool so over here, as part of our demo, I am going to choose this REST API. And as soon as you click on this REST API tool, you will get an option to upload the open API Swagger JSON file so that it can understand what our API usually does. So as I said, like I'll just go to this API marketplace. You can just click on this, your subscription. So over here, you can just click on this view API. So you will able to get your API key and you were able to see the call as well so using this you can copy this and use any of the LLM and then just do this create my open API JSON file and because version 2 is accepted so you can say version 2 and then paste your sample API call so over here it will create this JSON file for you and you can save this JSON file with a dot json extension and then i will just save this and i will open my folder where i have already saved this one of the exchange open api file 
So you can see like uh, it gives me all the information. So the title, description, and the endpoint, URL endpoint. And what it expects is the summary of parameters in and out both and the type of authentication what we are expecting. So we are expecting an API key authentication. In the security part, you can specify. It's already specified. Like as soon as you get your this API build, if you scroll down, you will see like the security part must be specified into this JSON, which is created via using this open API standard. Go back to your tool and click over here. Just upload the JSON and it will start reading that api specification and you can just build out your api specification stuff so over here you can choose your any existing solution if you want to bind with the any existing thing otherwise just keep it blank so that it can create a new solution for you so you can just name this tool as your exchange array tool the unique one and once you do next it will ask for the authentication and we will provide the authentication as api key choosing api key and we'll just add the parameter as api key again parameter name again same as api key which is a part of header location and we'll just say next so we got these two endpoint available so we are going to just uh, bother about concurrent convert currency between two currencies so i will just add some description convert amount into to source and destination currency and you can just say next you can specify the description for your output so true false you can specify anything so it's just a placeholder that will be displayed so source currency target amount converted and rate dynamic you can say that and over here once we do next you can review your connection you can review your tool and then publish this so i will say next review and publish so now this tool can be used into any of your agents so the agent which we created is financial agent so we can add explicitly this tool to our financial agent which has a knowledge source of sharepoint so i can create a connection directly from here so this is our new newly created tool create a new connection and specify your api key so i'll go to our subscription and i will copy the api key and paste it over here so that we can make the calls so within this copilot agent we are ready to actually use this as soon as you click on add to agent so it will be added to your current agent and it will also start appearing up into your global tools catalog so that like if you are building any new agent then you can also pick this newly created agent anywhere so if i go to this tools you will see this as newly added tool so this is the latest one which we added and it is added because we directly created from our this financial agent tool so it is already added over there so i can go back to my agents click on my agent and over here i will first of all ask simple question which would require our this knowledge source with the sharepoint site to be searched so i will say let me the total sales in north america region so I'm expecting my this knowledge base which is a SharePoint site would be called first and you can see that in execution source is searching sources that is my SharePoint site and it will try to answer based on the search knowledge source. So once we get it over here we got this data so now you can see like multiple data we got. Now I will what I will say like I will ask this tool itself the agent itself okay convert the USD EXP 00152 INR. So what we are expecting this value to be converted into INR and now our tool should be called and it may give an error because we have to allow the connection to trust the connection. So open this connection manager from here. 
and just do a status connect and then we will retry again so it's not connected let's connect this tool so now it is connected we can retry our same query so we retried our same query and now you see like our tool this is a currency conversion between multiple currencies is now executed and it took the amount and converts that to equivalent INR amount so that's how our external API got called along with our knowledge source so you can make a combination of this knowledge source plus your external tool that may depend on any external APIs or any external system so you can very well build out your full fully contextual tool using this rest api call so you can include this one so consider the scenario where you want to build out any agent that is let's say submitting a leave the leave agent where you want to call any traditional apis which already were built and you want to integrate that with your copilot agent so apply leave from this state to this state or fetch my, my leave balance sort of those apis that can be built with the external system or maybe like with other API uh, within the .NET platform. So anything like uh, though like it's external to the Copilot agent. So you can very well integrate that stuff using your own this REST API calls way. So you can detail out, you can study that into detail because it's still says in preview, but you can very well try that. You can go over this knowledge base, how you can use the REST API calls within your Copilot agent. And you can try building your own use cases. And along with that, like we have multiple, as I shown you, multiple options to create tools. So we have this, we can go to tools catalog and we have this compute computer use option. That is pretty interesting one. So you have to use this agent and you can direct your agents to the data from any of the online side. You can define your instructions. You can direct them to do any data entry, any data extraction. So I will create a detailed video about this into my next session so that how you can use this new computer use that is in preview, but how you can actually automate your data entry stuff or automate your data extraction stuff using this tool along with your entire mobile agent. Stay tuned for that one. And if you have any questions or doubts in today's video, then please do do drop your comments. I will try to answer. That is it for today. Thank you.